Greetings, YouTube. You have worked your way back to another booptacular episode of Double B Plays Sakura Santa right here on WGS TV. I am your friendly neighborhood Russell Gamer, and on the last episode, well, apparently Akina has no shame at all. She had a couple of charms for us, but we had to grab them from her. The thing is, she opened up her kimono, and she and she's using these tiny charms to cover her titties. And we only were able to grab one of them. But she still doesn't want us to grab the tail. Apparently the tail is a no-no. So what we're going to do is on this episode, guys, is we are going to revisit Atsumi. <coughs> Pardon me. I probably need to get me another bottle of water in just a minute. Well, I guess it's time to work again. Although I'm not looking forward to working at the cafe, it'll be nice to see Atsumi again. Sure enough, Itsumi is already dressed in an outfit. She's ready to get to work. Happy holidays! Christmas may have passed, but who the fuck cares when you're staring at that? Oh, Koji. Good to see you again. Good to see you too, Itsumi. Interesting outfit you have today. A Santa outfit. A very flattering one at that. I don't have to point out what you're thinking of, do I? Not at all. You really aren't different, any different from when you were in middle school. Weren't you, bit, weren't you known as the greatest pervert in school? I'm pretty sure those were misunderstandings. Yes, misunderstandings. That's what you called them. Anyway, today's also going to be another busy day. But the customers won't come for a while then, yet. She sits down at one of the tables. Is it really okay for you to do this? I mean, even if there are no customers yet? It's fine, Koji. I want to talk to you. I take a seat opposite to her. Her eyes don't leave mine the entire time. It's so funny that we've come together again. We couldn't be separated back in the day, could we? Nope. We'd always go off on adventures together. It wasn't just middle school either. My entire life up until that point had been spent with her. It's a surreal thought when you think about it. Bombs don't, just don't fade. You might forget about someone, or not quite remember their face. But when you meet them again, it all comes back to you. Yes, we spent so much time together. After we went to different schools, I never really found another friend like you, Koji. Did you ever meet anyone? I met a few people. No one I really remember after I left high school, though. I see. I will admit, you aren't nearly as bashful as you used to be. We've all got to grow up eventually, right? Yes, but completely abandoning any sense of shame you have isn't mature. I'm not exactly sure how I should feel about her saying that. She did just blatantly admit to me that she's using these sexy outfits to bring in customers. Then again, if I were a girl, that's exactly what I would do too. Guys fall easily for a nice pair of breasts, no matter who they belong to. Yes, I'd go as far as to say that breasts have conquered entire empire. <laughs> they don't know how fucking true that statement is. Okay, you can stop thinking about dirty things now. There's nothing wrong with thinking about breasts. She leans across the table then, allowing me to have an excellent view down the front of her outfit. Really? Of course not. I'd say that as I look down her dress. If you think about nothing but breast, it could end up being a problem. Potentially, only because I'd be spending all my time thinking about breasts. There's nothing wrong with with setting some time uh, setting some time aside to think about them. Pervert. She sits back in her chair, taking a moment to adjust the front of her dress. All right, I'll stop then. I honestly don't mind. I find it odd how comfortable you are with these things, Itsumi. I'm older too, you know. If we never come to terms with these things, we'd never be functioning adults. That's more or less true. I wonder what it would be like for guys who keep getting embarrassed by these things no matter how old they are. Man, that would be hell. Koji, I've missed you. I've kind of forgot about our, our friendship after all these years. But now that you're here, she seems to grow sheepish. I realize how much I've missed talking with you like this. It's Sumi. I never really realized it either. 
It's true, just talking about it with Tsumi is enough to put me at ease. I can't help but think about all the time we've lost. If I only stayed in that town and went to high school with you, neither of us would have had to be alone then. Hey, there's no point in dwelling on how things could have been, right? I'm just happy that I got another chance to talk with you. Right, that's true. Still, I would have liked to have more time with, with just us talking like this. It just feels like the time that I could have spent with you was taken unfairly from me. You had to move because of your dad's work, right? Yeah, he had to move to another town to keep his job. I didn't get a choice in the matter. She lets out a heavy sigh. It's just nice to think about how things could have worked out differently. I can hear that longing in her voice. Hey, I'm here now. I'm not going anywhere either, Itsumi. We'll make up for lost time. I promise. Do you really promise? The Koji I know never breaks his promises. Of course I promise. I promise to stay here and help. When you're not so busy, we will do a lot of fun things together. Just like old times. All right, fun things. I remember some of my favorite fun things to do. Remember when you tried to get someone to buy you an adult magazine? Ouch. Yeah. I wanted to do the right thing and pay for one instead of stealing it. Of course he didn't buy it for you. Pervert. Hey, I was just curious. No need for labels. If you want a pervert, then why did you look at my chest? You did that on purpose. Am I, am I supposed to ignore an open invitation? Well, it's not like I have a problem with you looking anyway. Anyway, we still have plenty of things that we need to get done before the customers start showing up. She gets off her seat. I can see that her dress is, has slightly written up her back. Hey, Itsumi, you might want to pull back the, the back of your dress down. She looks behind herself and sees the exposed lower half of her panties. Of course you'd notice something like that. Itsumi wasn't joking about today. I'm more stressed than I think, think I've ever been. It's even worse than it was yesterday. All I'm doing is collecting dirty dishes and washing them too. How did she cope with this last year? This is just insane. I'm stacking plates as high as I can. But there's always more plates. There's always more glasses. There's always more of everything. Yet the entire time, one person stands out there among the horde of customers. Yes, sir, I'll have your iced coffee shortly. Please be patient. Oh, you want an iced chocolate for your daughter? No problem. Her cool personality lets her keep a completely level head no matter how vast the sea of customers is. It's almost mesmerizing to see her suit the crowd as she passes by. No matter how angry the customers are from not getting their orders in a timely fashion, she's able to calm them down with only a few words. Please be patient, sir. You will have your drink shortly. Your food will be ready soon, too. When faced with the cool personality, the customers seem to become as calm as she is. How are you coping with the dishes, Koji? I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Although I'm not fine, I just have to keep going. I said I would help her out, so that's exactly what I'm going to do. You're doing well, Koji. Keep it up. Don't worry, I will. Itsumi already has another tray of drinks out. How does she do this? Well, she does have several years worth of experience. Still, she's amazing. She used to be really clumsy when we were younger. But now she has almost cat-like grace. Then I see... The ground is slippery. Wait, it's Sumi! It's too late. Oh. I was wondering when we were going to get a, uh, a new image, and this is quite the image of Itsumi wet. As she steps in it, she loses her balance. The drinks she's carrying spill, completely coating the front of her dress. Thick, sticky fluids. <laughs> everywhere <laughs> all over <laughs> oh my god oh jeez oh 
I don't think I need to explain to you guys why I think that's funny as fuck. Oh my god. Ugh. All over her face, her arm, her breast. As she stands there, she seems shocked. Oh. She tries to wipe off the front of her chest, only for it to stick to her fingers. Whatever was in those cups, they formed sticky, syrupy strands between her fingers. That's not good. I must be overworking myself. That's when I notice that the drinks are beginning to soak it into the front of her dress. And that she... <laughs> isn't wearing a bra underneath that outfit. I try to look away, but there's just something bewitching about this scene. Again, titties for the win! I'm sure every single guy in the cafe is thinking exactly the same thing as I am. Breasts truly do conquer empires. I can hear them cheering now as she passes by. No, I have to help her. As much as I enjoy these things, like this, I must really do something to help her. She doesn't seem embarrassed by it in the slightest, though. I'm sorry, sir. I'll go get your drinks again. It'll only take a moment. She quickly picks up her tray and carries it on as if nothing happened. But her dress remains soaked and see-through. The sugar from the drinks grows sticky on her skin, too, making it look even more inappropriate. Um, Itsumi. Don't worry, they appear to be pleased by this. Yes, I'm going to worry. She stands still and looks at me. It's only a few spilled drinks, Koji. You know that's not what I'm talking about. I look down again, able to see the peaks of her... Mountains. Would you like me to show them <laughs> to you? No! Oh, you don't like my boobs? That's not the issue here! Look, get cleaned up. I'll take over in the meantime. Are you sure you want to do that? I look behind at the, uh, the roaring crowd. My instincts are screaming at me to run away. The crowd will eat me alive, I'm sure. But for Itsumi's sake, I'll face them. Yes, I'll do it. Just go clean yourself up, okay? As you wish, Koji. I probably just signed my death warrant. But if it's for Itsumi, then that's okay. After that nightmarish day, we finally finish. It's dark when we leave the cafe. You did well, Koji. Also, thank you for giving me time to clean up. Don't worry about it. I barely had time to even catch my breath today. I didn't really have a problem with it, though. I... How do I tell her? I just didn't like the idea of those guys perving on you like that. It just doesn't seem right to me. It may seem silly, since I obviously share the same feelings they do, but I don't like them looking at my childhood friend that way. We start to joke about it. I see. That actually makes me very happy, Koji. You still do care about me after all these years. Why wouldn't I care about you, Itsumi? I was worried that you were just being polite. But it seems you really do care. So she's uncertain, too. It's been a long time, after all. Of course I care about you. Why wouldn't I, it Itsumi? Feelings can change with time. That's just how life is. Uh, no, it's not. Speaking from personal experience, it's not. Quietly, she fidgets on the spot. I'd like to walk with you for a while, Koji. If that's okay with you. Of course. I'm really tired of today, but spending time with Itsumi makes me feel less we weary. Lead the way then, Koji. Back to his apartment. After work, Itsumi decided to come home with me. She doesn't look even the slightest bit tired after work. Koji, what did you what you did today was really sweet. Why did you get so protective of me? I know that you're using your appearance to get customers, but there has to be a limit to that, you know. If you're just going to let them stare at you like that, it just isn't right. But you're the only one who saw my boobs earlier. Why are you suddenly so bashful about it? Isn't it different if it's me looking at them rather than a stranger? How so? Is there some reason why you don't want people to look at me? She's vicious with her questions tonight. Well, what guy wouldn't feel weird if their friend was getting stared at like that? I see. Well, thank you. But you shouldn't worry about me, Koji. After all, I took up this job so I can be independent. 
Independence isn't all isn't all it that it's cracked up to be. Perhaps not, but it's important to prove yourself. I was just thinking about something. But how nostalgia works. What do you mean? Well, when people look back, they think something was better than it is now. Like how the world was supposedly better, or things like that. How does someone become so attached to something so mundane? Feelings aren't rational. They just take whatever form they want. A clam forms a pearl because of the grit in its mouth. So a small feeling can be wrapped up with layers upon layers and eventually something far bigger than it was. People aren't rational. They're emotional. So even the tiniest feeling can one day manifest itself as a roaring torrent. That's what I think, at least. Yeah, I think that's right. It's true, even something as simple as an old photo of a mundane day. With time, the feelings that you have toward the photo can go stronger and stronger. The preciousness of an object or a memory grows and grows with time. Why did you ask me about why did you ask about something like that? I was just thinking about thinking back to the Christmases we spent together. Even if it seems like something really important, it becomes precious with time. Yes, it really does. Now that we're sitting here years later thinking back on it. That is just part of growing older, I think. Remembering the past fondly, even if what you did was normal or nothing out of the ordinary. Emotions can make the normal extraordinary. That's just how it is. So if you think about it like that, were her feelings for me similar? I like to think that I'm not a, not a bit of grit that a clam wrapped mother of pearl around. But I admit that it's an excellent metaphor. Now then, I need to go. I'll talk to you later, Koji. Goodbye, Itsumi. So, if her feelings were like grit, then how much has she wrapped them around, wrapped them up after all these years? I don't know what she was serving, but why does it resemble a particular kind of lewd fluid? Was it milk or something? Well, if it was, it looked a bit off. It's probably better not to think about it. You sleep, you sleep far sounder at night if you th don't think about unnecessary questions. I'm the eternal daydreamer, it seems. It's better to do things. It's better to do things than it is to think about doing things, unless it's something like robbing a bank. Thinking about it, thinking about it isn't a crime, but actually doing it is. Either way, let's do something today. Hopefully that something isn't robbing a bank. So, with that being said, guys and gals, we are going to conclude this episode. And on the next one, we are going to have another jolly visit from Stripper Santa. So, with that being said, I am your friendly neighborhood wrestling gamer. Saying we'll see ya at the next warp zone. You're forgetting about the game. I'll get you yet, Akina. Again and again, I miss every time. How does she move so fast? She's laughing. And you guys wonder why I like candy cane so much. That candy cane right now is...